Chapter 3 Age of Revolution The period of 1750 to 1850, 100 year span, is recognized as Revolution Age. Age of Revolution While studying Revolution Era, it is necessary to understand the meaning of revolution. The word revolution generally means a revolutionary change in any situation of social life. Due to revolution, a new system based on new value exists after revolution. Revolution is a social battle fought against injustice. There is specific planning and motto in revolution. The great philosopher Victor Hugo says, Revolution is the mother of development. It has a great speed. It needs powerful leaders. In the same way, it needs people's cooperation. Revolution takes place either by violence or non-violence. In revolution, violent means are used on large scale. There is a great change in the society after revolution. Revolution takes place at any part of social life. Example, Green Revolution, French Revolution, Industrial Revolution, etc. Within short span of time, there could be a great changes in the social life in the revolution of the people. For example, due to industrial revolution, drastic changes occurred in political, social, economic, religious and cultural sectors of society. Three great revolutions took place in the world. The American War of Independence, French Revolution, Industrial Revolution. In the North American continent, 13 British colonies revolted against Britain and got freedom. This revolution is known as the American War of Independence. The French fought against Louis XVI Bourbon dynasty, who was very clinical and established democracy. This revolution is called as French Revolution. Industrial Revolution first took place in England and then spread all over the world. The Industrial Revolution brought drastic changes in production resources, means and processes. In the course of time, the effects of all the three revolutions were worldwide. People of the world were impressed due to the principles and innovativeness of these revolutions. The American War of Independence was a political revolution. The French Revolution was a social revolution. And Industrial Revolution is related to means and process of production. Though the influence of these three great revolutions were restricted to the particular countries, in course of time, their influence spread all over the world. The principles and concept of these revolutions influence the people of the world. Characteristics of Capitalism First, right to own private property. Second, private profit and self-well-being, inspiration to have them. Third, consumer sovereignty. Fourth, price system. Fifth, least role of the government. Sixth, coordination between social welfare and self-well-being. Seventh, freedom to savings and investments. Eight, right and freedom to select business of our own. Ninth, England was recognized as the world's industry. Tenth, industrial revolution is still incomplete. Its process is unending, so it is known as the revolution without end. It is consistently going on. Rise of Capitalism At the end of 15th century, European sailors searched new seaways and new era in the trading began to take place. Many traders came forward to trade with the countries of the East through sea routes. Financially, it was impossible to export goods to an individual trader. So, many traders came together and started trading. 
those who were having original capital progressed in their business. Trading with the eastern countries was very profitable, so many companies came into being in Europe. Example, the East India Company. European countries flourished, so the European rulers gave military protection and commercial facilities to these companies. Due to such tradings, the European countries, especially England, became financially powerful. In this way, in Europe, the capitalism era started taking place. The European traders purchased spices, rich garments, commodities of beautifully designed wooden articles, ivory articles, scents, etc. from the eastern countries. In return, they needed to sell only a few articles to the eastern countries. The reason is that only a few things were produced in European countries. The result is that the European businessmen used gold and silver currency for purchasing articles from the eastern countries' businessmen. So, the flow of gold and silver started to take place from Europe to the eastern countries. The European businessmen tried to find many remedies to resist this flow. They started selling articles purchased from the eastern countries into the other countries of the world, except European countries with huge profit margin. Sometimes, these businessmen sold articles by purchasing from one country to another country and they used to buy essential commodities for them. Example, sometimes the British traders purchased garments from India and sold at Indonesia for buying spices and finally used to sell these spices in their native country. They made a great profit in such trading. The European traders presented some precious gift articles to the rulers of the eastern countries to flourish their trade and obtain facilities for them. For example, the tax and tolls or try were waved off. They increased their profit. The European traders travelled from town to town for purchasing articles and goods with cheap rates and used to sell it with great profit margin. Europe, especially England, became richer in such trading. The European businessmen realized that it was profitable to deal with manufactured products. So, they developed new production methods and consequently the machine age and the industrial revolution came into being. Importance of trade and businessmen was increasing in the 18th century in England and in other European countries and new directions and markets were opened to the European traders from this trade. Thus, industrial capitalism came forward. Capital economy is based on the large-scale production and its exchange. In this system, there is mutual understanding and cooperation between capital and labors plus industrialists, due to which large-scale production is possible. Means of production are privately owned is the characteristic of capitalism and the manufacturer's motto is to earn more and more profit by producing more goods with optimum producing capacity. Characteristics of Industrial Revolution First, it came into force first in England and then it spread to other regions. Second, in cotton, coal and woods, etc., many inventions took place and they were largely used everywhere. Third, water energy and steam energy proved to be useful to run many machines and human labor was widespread. Fourth, trade and business became more important than agriculture. Fifth, trade and transportation became quick after the use of steam engine railways and boats. Telephone and wireless telephone proved to be quick messaging sources. 
the world came very close to us. Sixth, industrial revolution is not yet completed. The process of this revolution is continued. Therefore, the industrial revolution is continuously ongoing progress. Therefore, the industrial revolution is continuously ongoing process. A. Industrial Revolution Entirely it was a peaceful revolution. Its impacts were lasting longer and deep too. No other revolution had made such a great impact on the world as this industrial revolution had ever made. A true rise of modern industrialization due to powerful and progressive economical technical development in the 18th century is called Industrial Revolution. Industrial Revolution, this concept, was brought into being by Arnold Toynbee. Industrial Revolution was neither a revolt against any existing system of government, nor it was a sudden change in the society. It was mainly a change in the method of production, due to which every sector of life was spirited from their original setup. This revolution was prevailing during 1750 to 1850, the hundred years span. During this span, scientists' performance was meaningful. They created new techniques and maxims. New machines came in place of old machines and weapons. Steam power and electrical power was brought into force instead of manpower and animal power. Cottage industries were replaced by city industries. Production began to take place on large scale and also at a great speed. Transportation needed to be very quickly. In the sectors of transportation and public communications, contacts, there was a miraculous progress. Of course, there were some political and social effects prevailing. Some social problems came out from it, and to overcome such problems, new trends of thoughts came forward. Human life changed from almost all angles. Though this was a slow-going picture of revolution, its effects were revolutionary. Therefore, we call it as Industrial Revolution. Various Inventions During Industrial Revolution First, John K. Weaver's Running Shuttle Second, James Hargreaves' Spinning Jenny Third, Richard Arkwright Water Frame Fourth, Samuel Crompton Jean Fifth, Edmund Cartwright, Power Loom. Sixth, James Watt, Steam Engine. Seventh, George Stevenson, Railway Engine. Eighth, Benjamin Franklin and Faraday, Electric Power. Ninth, Michael Faraday, Dynamo. Tenth, Davy Humphrey, Protection Lamp. Eleventh, Morse, Wire Machine. 12th, Alexander Bell, Telephone. 13th, Marconi, Radio. 14th, Robert Fulton, Boat. Expansion of Industrial Revolution This revolution started in England, very soon reached in other countries of Europe, that is, in France and Germany. France and Germany were already renowned in the development of steel, iron and chemical businesses sectors. Industrialization began to develop speedily in Holland, Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, etc. In America too, the Industrial Revolution took place. In Russia, the revolution expanded late. In Asia, Japan developed in the sectors of steel, machines chemicals, etc., very surprisingly within a short span of time. Today, 
This revolution is prevailing all over the world. Nature favors. For industrialization in England, the nature was favoring it. Minerals coal to erect machines and industries were ample in England. England was successful in utilizing them scientifically. Textile industry and trade were the chief occupation in England. This industry was boosted right from 16th century onward. Climate of England was favorable to this industry. Long staple fiber was used to supply from the British colonies of America. Beginning of Industrial Revolution in England England had potentials for the scope to Industrial Revolution, so the revolution took place first in England. English businessmen had already reached far in the Asian continent. England had defeated France in the competition of expansion of the empire. There was no danger to the East India Company of England in the French competition. The British rule had become the rule in India in political field. The British East India Company's rule had sent huge finance to their homeland, in the same way from America. The British rule obtained unlimited money and goods. England had used in the development of industrial world. Many historians have asserted that, due to great capital squeezing from India, England started Industrial Revolution in Britain. Progress in science had already started in England. Many inventions were brought into being by very enthusiastic, brave, innovative scientists. New machines were made, example, steam engine by James Watt. The rich and administrators in England supported such inventions and their inventors. Such inventors and innovative persons changed the economic lifestyle of England. Due to the religious harassment, many Europeans migrated to England. Among them, there were artists, craftsmen, intellectuals. For industrialization in England, the laborers were available on large scale very easily so England could achieve industrial progress. England established colonies in many countries. They received raw material in cheap rates and markets were ready to purchase in their produced goods. England was the main navigational country in Europe. Napoleon couldn't blockade England due to its navigational power and strength. England benefited when Napoleon boycotted buying finished goods from England. The political, economic stability, able government, government businesses and favorable policies of the government helped to develop corporate sectors. Individual freedom to the citizens, selected sectors of their choices and that development were responsible for favoring industrial revolution in England. Effects of Industrial Revolution on Environment Industrialization rose due to industrial revolution. Due to industrialization, water pollution, air pollution, sound pollution, etc. occurred. People were affected badly regarding the respiratory system due to air pollution. Due to outcome of poisonous gases from some of the factories, many people had to die. Some of them became handicapped. Unhygienic and dirty water from industries after mixing with streams, rivers, seawater, polluted water and people suffered from diarrhea, gastro and jaundice, paralysis, etc. Life of water animals and plants came into danger. Due to the growth of cities and industries, filthiness spread everywhere. Problem of garbage became very severe. Due to rising number of mosquitoes, malaria, 
flu, etc. spread all over and the result was that many people died. Inflammables in the industry caused many explosions and hence the lives of the people were endangered and at times deaths resulted. Atomic energy is also used in industrial growth and development. Due to atomic reactors in the industries, atomic rays prevail in the environment and they brought ghastly effects on human bodies. City vehicles and sound of machinery in the industries created sound pollution and men became deaf permanently. Natural resources and minerals are used on large scale for industrial development. In future, there would be possibility of scarcity of such natural wealth. Forest trees are cut down on large scale for industrialization. Farming land and water, etc. are used largely so that there would be scarcity of food and green in future. Due to water shortage, conflicts in the society may arise. In short, due to industrial revolution, evil effects on society are noticed. Effects of Industrial Revolution A. Positive Effects Due to Industrial Revolution, there was the rise of industrialization. First, in minimum span, less expenses, it was possible to produce more goods of quality. Due to the rise in production, people started getting goods and commodities in least prices. People could standardize their lifestyle. Second, economic conditions of the countries where in industrialization took place were developed. Mainly, England and other European countries became rich and they helped to develop other countries too. Third, trade and commerce developed on the international level. It seemed that the world has become only one big market and so things became easily available at any corner of the world. Feeling of cooperation was also increased. The whole world became one home for all citizens of the world. Fourth, in the industrialized countries, labor movements began to resist injustice and tyrannical acts. Labor organization was established. Industrialists and workers became rivals. But in order to abolish disparity, seeds of socialism were sown. Labor movements, chartists' movements, women's right to equality started taking place in the European countries. So, in Europe, the concept of constitutional and welfare state rooted deeply. Fifth, Cities developed, population of educated people increased. They became aware of their rights and so, in England and France, democratic concept powerfully prevailed. Sixth, due to industrial revolution, new cities were set up. They became the centers of commerce, business and industries. The rural region people rushed to urban sectors. As a result, population of urban areas increased tremendously. Seventh, common man's life improved. Arts and cultural sectors of life dominated common man. Short story and novel became very popular and literature became very rich. Painting and drawings depicted the realities of common man. In the 20th century, film industry was also developed and this is due to a great advancement in technical progress. Eighth, transportation and communication were developed due to industrial revolution. Communication improved drastically. Ninth, in the agricultural sector, new technology was used so labors could be saved and production of grain rose tremendously.
B. Negative Effects of Industrial Revolution First, common man was negatively affected due to industrial revolution. Due to machines, cottage industries were stopped. Many craftsmen became jobless. Supply of labor was more than demand and the capitalists took undue benefit of such unemployment problem. Workers were being squeezed. Women and child laborers were paid less. There was no certainty of their permanent job. No compensation to the labor were caught into accidents. They became slaves of the capitalists. They became more and more weak and poorer. Economic disparity increased in the society. Second, houses for the labors were very much filthy and negatively compact. Women too needed to rush to the industries for employment. Most of them were extremely tired due to heavy work, so they had lost their joy in their life. The idea of joint family was broken due to the rushing to the urban areas for employment. Labors fell victims to many bad habits in order to forget their miseries and grief. Third, worker became the inseparable part of machine in this revolution. He used to do monotonous work in the factory and hence lost joy and delight in his routine, performing mechanical work only. Fourth, industrially developed European countries adopted the policy of expansion of their business and trade. They started expanding their empire in Asian and African continents. So, many countries from such continents lost their freedom. These countries were being squeezed by industrially rich countries in Europe. Fifth, Imperialist nations expanded their religious mission by threatening the colonists and there itself the seeds of the First World War were sown. Sixth, many conflicts and disputes, strikes arose from imperialism. Seventh, a number of civil problems arose due to industrial revolution. People from rural areas rushed in great numbers towards the urban regions. Due to overpopulated towns and cities, problems like scarcity of land, houses, limited water supply, etc. raised their heads. Pollution, ill health, filthiness, etc. became major problems in the society. Eighth, nations became dependent on each other. Example, England imported cotton from America, wheat from Canada. There was danger arising situation when there was revolution or war trade and business suffered very much and consequently common man was caught in tight corners. In this way, the industrial revolution had mixed effect on the social life of people. Points to remember. Change in production resources means industrial revolution. Industrial revolution was evolutionary, but its effects were revolutionary. The British colonies in America. People who came from England frequently to America formed their own colonies. In the beginning, there were many problems before the colonies, but the problems were solved on the local level. The Red Indians, America's native people, started their revolts. Other neighboring various deals were to be finalized regarding agriculture and trading sectors. Suitable administrative system was to be set up for the colonies. In the due course, statutory organizations were formed. These statutory organizations formed and ruled out tax system and other bills and laws after their mutual discussions with representatives. The colonists were anxious to take benefit of the natural resources of America. They never liked others' restrictions. 
England's motherland's control over the colonists was very nominal in the beginning. Restrictions over the activities of the colonists England and France had a war on the problem of the ownership of Ohio and the North American states. The Seven Years' War, from 1756 A.D. to 1763 A.D., was fought between England and France. This war ended with the Treaty of Paris. England gained Canada and Appalachian Mountain along with the territorial region of the Mississippi River from France. England took decision to keep the above-mentioned region reserved for hunting for the Red Indians temporary. Those colonists desiring to advance beyond west of the Appalachian Mountain were restricted. Consequently, many of the colonists were angry. France was defeated in the Seven Year War, so the colonists became fearless of the attack on them. In the same way, they had no need of the protection and guidance by England. The colonists developed feeling that they became independent for their own administration. Due to these reasons, the colonists became ready to revolt. Delegates Conferences of Colonists The colonists were united against the tyrannical rule, imposing taxes as well as unjustifiable restrictions by England on them. The feeling of breaking of war very soon arose among the colonists against the British rule. They realized that there is no need to act unitedly. Under the presidentship of Benjamin Franklin, the first conference was called for the colonies at Philadelphia on 5th September 1774. This conference is recognized as the first Philadelphia conference. This conference is recognized as the first Philadelphia Congress. The representatives gathered, there was a slogan. The representatives gathered, they gave a slogan. Life, liberty and property are our birthrights. The colonists appealed to prepare themselves with weapons by erecting their own troops. England's Emperor George III was requested to cancel the unjust tax on the colonists, but the emperor denied the request. He ordered his military to break the revolt. Consequently, this conflict rose, and there was a clash between the British soldiers and the colonists at Lexington, an American war of independence started to take place. On 10th May 1775, the second conference at Philadelphia was held under the presidentship of John Hancock. George Washington was appointed as the Army General of Organized Troops of Soldiers. The colonies were instructed to be alert and aware of the battle. The president of this conference, John Hancock, declared that our goal is justifiable and we are totally united. Not as the live slaves, but we would prefer to die as free mankind. Lastly, England declared war against 13 colonies on 23rd August 1775. On 4th July 1776, the colonists held third conference at Philadelphia. In this conference, Freedom Manifesto was declared. All the relation with England were curtailed. Thomas Jefferson made draft of American Manifesto. It was as follows. These truths are self-evident. All are equal right from birth. Life, freedom and happiness in life are their own rights given by God. And the government rule prevails only to protect and prevent all such rights. For that reason, meeting at Paris was held in 1783 for truce agreement. After signing the truce agreement, America was declared to be the free nation. Consequently, United States of America, USA, came into existence.
new taxes and other restrictions. England became financially chaotic due to the Seven Year War. The British Parliament in 1764 AD for compensating the losses in the war from the colonists passed the bill named Sugar Act. Sugar, silk, coffee, alcohol, etc. were charged taxes under this act while importing into America. Severe restrictions were imposed upon toll. So, the commercial sector people were fearful in the colonies due to this act. The 1765 Stamp Act also proved to be strict and harsh. By this act, the tax was rigorously charged upon newspaper, court stamp papers, insurance agreements, documents of the ships faring to and fro, licenses and the playing cards too. Due to intensive tax imposing by the British Parliament on the colony people, there was a huge tide of wrath in America. Under the name Sons of Liberty, the colonists formed organization and rejected disdainfully the Stamp Act by criticizing it very severely. The British goods were boycotted. Breach of law activities in the colonies began. The colonists' protest was so powerful that the British Parliament had to cancel the Stamp Act. Seventeen sixty five Currency Act, Billeting Act, etc., such tyrannical acts were imposed on the colonies. Passing the Declaratory Act in seventeen sixty seven, England threatened the colonies that the British Parliament had rights to form laws and impose unlimited rights over them. On the contrary, the colonists retorted, insisting that Imposing tax on them means denying their rights to individual freedom or their representatives. It's a great tyranny to impose tax without the consent of their representatives, said James Otis, the pleader. The colonists' slogan was, No Taxation Without Representation. In 1767, the British Parliament passed the Town Shend Act, by which they imposed tax on the import of tea, sugar, paper, colour, lead, etc. Again the colonists protested, agitated, that the British Parliament had to bend and surrender. The East India Company of England was in financial crisis. In order to save the company, England passed one more act in 1773. And according to this act, the East India Company had monopoly in trading tea with America. But the Americans boycotted on tea and insisted on tea drinking. Coffee drinking in America had become the indication of patriotism. This event is known as the Boston Tea Party. Boston Tea Party Boston Tea Party is the tentative reason for the American War of Independence. The colonists were severely discontented due to unjustifiable tax imposing on tea. Three ships full of tea boxes were due to arrive to the port of Boston. The ship Dark Mouth was set at the port on 27th November 1773. The colonists asked the ship to go back, but this demand was rejected. So, 8,000 Red Indians gathered at Old South Church. By making well-disciplined groups, the people embarked on the ship in the night. The same night, 342 tea boxes were thrown into the sea water. The cost of the tea was calculated to be 18,000 pounds. This happened on 16 December 1773. In the American history, this is known as Boston Tea Party. Unless tax on tea is paid, the British government declared that the port of Boston would be closed for trading. Consequently, discontent arose 
and finally American War of Independence was declared due to the Boston Tea Party. Shadow of War England had sent some of the troops to America. New York was its central space. Military force was also called at Boston. Prime point of the tension was the presence of the British soldiers. According to England, the British military force was sent to America in order to protect the lines of control. But the colonists presumed that England wanted to keep in control over them by sending the force to America. By the appearance and the dressing of the soldiers of England, the colonists called them red coats. There were conflicts between the British soldiers and the colonists, invariably. At Boston, on 5th March 1770, five colonists were killed in such conflicts by the British soldiers. It is named as the Boston Massacre. Effects of the War of Freedom it was the first time in the history of the world that a democratic government in the form of United States came into being. George Washington took an oath as the first president of USA. The American War of Liberty proved that every man has the right to revolt against injustice and right to freedom. Many wars were fought for the original rights of human beings in the world. Many countries and nations followed the ideal of the written constitution of America. A number of nations in the world took inspiration from the American war of freedom to establish democracy. England had to lose 13 colonies and that was a great blow to them. England had to follow liberal policy regarding the colonies. The French economy became very critical due to the participation in the American freedom war. The French warriors who took part in the American Freedom War made propaganda of democratic thoughts and importance of democracy after returning home and hence created background for the French Revolution in 1789. The French Revolution is supposed to be the issue of American political revolution. This American Revolution established everlasting impact on the world history. Important Personalities George III, the King of England, in his rule, England-American Colonies War was fought. Christopher Columbus, the American continent was discovered by Christopher Columbus, John Cabot, and Amerigo Vespucci, the three European sailors. Thomas Jefferson, he declared manifesto of the American War of Liberty. George Washington, Military Journal of American Liberty War for the Freedom of the America Colonies Lord Cornwallis, England's Military General 